Morning. <laughs> I thought you were going to giggle. Right, <laughs> oh, so first, uh, well, last, last training exercise for the Lake 3000s then. And the idea is to go to slight side, up to Scarfell. And uh, what we're doing then, down Fox's Gully and up Lord's Rake. Might bag Link Mill as well. We're awake enough. Oh, it's around 4 a.m. A bit of an ordeal getting there, as you might have seen already. A few sheep, sheep on the road. A couple of big hills. They did not want to move. Yeah, nothing too, nothing too dodgy. But yeah, we've had an adventure even before we started. The brakes work. The brakes work, yeah, definitely. The brakes work. That's the main thing. They've been coming up the lane out of boot and then we're going to take this track now and then I left up to Eeltarn and then head up the ridge to the slight side. I'd say it's a sheep, <laughs> it could be a rabbit. I don't know, I don't even know what sort of... I'm going to go a sheep. Looks like a vertebrae, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a backbone or some part, isn't it? Some sort of dinosaur we found. <laughs> Alright, the camera's picking up, we've got a bit of daylight. Final final ascent up onto slight side. Still just below the mist. I think we're gonna stop just before we get up to it. The sunrise is about what 40, 40 minutes away, half an hour, 40 minutes. Into the mist. What have you? So it has been a relatively sort of shallow gradient most of the way. It was really got steep just now, and uh, just struggling up these final uh, slopes to the top. But uh, sunrise isn't too far away. And it's looking still clear over over to the. Um, to the southeast, so hopefully we'll get some nice red skies soon. Still, it's beautiful. Right, onwards and upwards. Right, so just on top of Horned Crag, and the final pull up to Slight Side. We're just going to be in the mist, so we're probably not going to catch a sunrise. Although there is some clear sky. Up to that way. It's perfect just coming out of the mist there. So there's a small chance we could be above it or even to get a bit of a hole in it. But yeah, not far to go. It's been a long, long walk into this one. Wow, it's just cleared. And you've got the pinks in the sky now. Oh wow, let's blast on up to this summit, which is just ahead. Well, we could get very lucky here. So uh, this craggy part up here is the summit area. So we've got to get up there. There's a cairn on here, so maybe that's a bit of an indication. Head up to there. But yeah, it's, uh, it's clagged back in again, unfortunately, but it does keep clearing. So we'll see how we can do. You can see we are slightly poking out the mist just a little bit. I don't know if that's a bit of a fog bow there or whether I'm seeing things, but look at that sky. Certainly clearing out that way. You can see down to Burnmore Tarn now. 
and uh, up to the summit. Oh yeah, perfect timing. It's clear and lovely. So I think the summit's up there basically. It appears the path goes through here to the summit, but there's a big boulder in the way. So we're going to head up these rocks here and over yep. the top. So yeah, we'll see what's uh, cracking up this way. Well, yeah. <laughs> number one down. Come on then. I just need a clear sky now then. Yeah. <sighs> oh, me being me, I've had to come to this one as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm just enjoying the moment. Yeah. Wow, it's clearing a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, I see down to Burnmore. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> see this bit here to clear now and we can get the sun come up. <laughs> That'd be a bit perfect, that would. Actually, there was, was water as well. Beautiful. Snap. Yeah. Yeah, was water. Down that way. Yeah, really. Oh, this is cleared the, the yeah, right really. place. Over there, you can see Scarfell. I think. We might not be on slight side. It's hard to tell, isn't it? It's got to be. Why? Yeah, that's not. Uh, yeah, we've got to be. Yeah, that's. That'll be long green, that bit then. So that makes yeah. It could be slight side. Now, we, we, I don't know, unless the map's not marrying up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's oh, it. Look. Maybe that's slight side there. <laughs> we'll find out. Oh yeah. I think this will do for the Whoa. sunrise though. <laughs> Whoa, look at that now. It's really cleared up that has. Guys lighting up lovely over that way as well. It's just like it's so still, it's all just hanging there, the fog is, isn't it? Mm. Alright, so we've, uh, we've finally deduced that. I think that's what this uh, on the map is long green, and then Scarfell just beyond it. But this is unreal. I'll just give you another shot of this. There's going to be so much of this in the video because that is um, that is some view ahead and uh, behind there. Back to the slight side. Absolutely beautiful. The sun hasn't quite risen yet because of that bank of cloud. But hopefully, at some point. Okay, we've got some pretty spectacular views down to Upper Estale down there and Scarlathing. So just over on top of this one then we might just see where the camp spouts come, uh, comes out. 
That's incredible, the distance we've covered this morning. Looks like really high up, doesn't it? What's that, us? Yeah. We are quite high up. Yeah, I know, but it looks, you know. Oh. I think it's because of the severeness of the drops. I can't beat the lakes. Okay, so we're just approaching the sort of other summit on the ridge, which I think is long green. And that might be the name of this sort of ridge area. The first time on these mountains, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'll put it on the screen when I've done a bit of research at home. But that scarf fell up there, that'll be our next major peak. And then we're gonna get the helmets on and do some scrambling. Amazing, absolutely amazing. We're a little bit confused about where exactly we are at times, but that's all right. <laughs> so you don't care where we are. No. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll, uh, I'll second that. <laughs> it doesn't really matter when it looks like this, does it? <laughs> the mist is coming over the side of the I'm peak. Sorry, we're back in the wrong peak, son. <laughs> We're back in the wrong peaks, we've done a good job because everywhere over there is in cloud. There's a massive cloud over there. Uh, but yeah, all this, what we can see is. Yeah, and we're, all clear. wherever we were, was perfect. And yeah, it just cleared on top of there, didn't it? You had the, you had the sort of vast to, drop in front yeah, of you. Just as we got to the top, so yeah, I don't really Yeah, I think we've done okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. if that can happen all day. <laughs> Lovely. Let's crack on this one. When I get back, Strava will tell me where we've been. Yeah, we've, we've not even been to the Lake District. Turns out we're in Guernsey. <laughs> Isle of Wight. Yeah. <laughs> Jurassic Park to be. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay. So that's Scarfell Pike. Right. The one over there, I think. I'm pretty sure of it. Yeah, there's the big thing on top. And somebody's on top of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did wonder that because it did when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, we're at Smoking Strange Station. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. On the way up to Scarfell, one final push up there. Ooh. Unbelievable. I need to learn my clouds again. That's um, that's a cloud, that one. There's always a bit of scree. Up to the top. Okay. And that's the summit up there. And the views over that way. Absolutely beautiful. It's near the top. Let's right, end up the final scree slope. The big bank of power there, what we were just above. 
from here are going to be pretty special I think over there we're above the clouds as well so yeah we'll pick the right mountain above the clouds on Scarfell Scarfell Park's over there see that getting pretty busy already this morning but there's a uh, at the moment I can't see anybody up here it's the approach the summit area Oh. Just an unbelievable, unbelievable view. Careful the rocks, we've got bird glass on them. Slippy. Well this is uh this is not conditions you get every day. And uh Makes it all worth it, the effort, getting up at four in the morning, uh, sorry, getting here at four in the morning, I mean, uh, leaving home at midnight, and we've just got inversion conditions, the sun's starting to come up, we're above the banks of fog, and uh, absolutely stunning, that's all I can say about it. Just approaching the summit of Scarfell, and uh, <laughs> wow! Well, out of all the out of all the places to get these sort of views, on the second highest mountain in England, and uh, Scarfell Pikes just faded into the clouds slightly, but absolutely beautiful down there to Wasdale. So we're almost at the furthest point away of what we're doing today. We're gonna to head down to Fox's Gully, then back around to Lord's Rake and come back up here before heading down uh, towards two more peaks over there. So yeah, just gonna enjoy this at the minute. Absolutely brilliant. Right on Pip. How long has that taken us? A little while. That's taken four hours from the uh, from earlier, from where we started. Yeah, four hours nine minutes. So that's not bad. Five point six six. Two hours in the dark, and then we've had these views, so yeah. we've not been moving too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Would you believe we've got a cloud inversion? <laughs> I did not. I know I said it earlier, but <laughs> I did not. I didn't believe it. Of course I didn't. I just the read the way I read the report, the weather report. It was it seemed to suggest it, but without committing to it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. This is incredible. I mean, Scarfell Pike. It's got more cloud than we have. There's just nothing on here. No. I mean, anywhere over there, you're going to be. I mean that's all towards U Barrow and Haycock and over towards sort of Ennerdale and that. And uh, the Mosedow Horseshoe, all covered in cloud. So you, I mean there's a multitude of peaks you could have picked over there. Over that way you've got um, Esk Pike and Crinkle Crags and all that you could have picked to climb today. Again, in cloud. Even the lower ones, even like hard to fell. I mean it's not saying it's not gonna clear because it looks like it might, but it just looks like everywhere. I think this is, other than Scarfell Pike, this is about the only peak that I can see at the moment. 
Sorry. Apparently, shot. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> On this uh, very slippery rock. Yeah, so just dropped down off the summit of Scarfell. Incredible inversion conditions up there, just a stunning vista all around us. First time I've had conditions quite like that. And uh, it's so still, the clouds are just forming these shapes. Yeah, yeah so there's Verglas right at the top that's not so bad just here, so hopefully if we get a bit further down, that'll be gone. So uh, yeah, so I think we just get down to this bit of a a bit of a coal here and uh, down to Fox's Tarn. Also very important here if you are a long sort of climber, scrambler uh, with a lot of experience, broadstand, and even if you are, broadstand can be really treacherous and um, especially on a day like today when the, the rocks glaze with ice and they're uh, a little bit damp. Uh, the slanting slabs down there, uh, if bone dry might not be too bad, but it slants off and there's a one hell of a drop off. So at this point, you need to turn right and head down to Fox's Tarn and Fox's Gully, which again is a bit of a scramble, but nowhere near as severe. I'm told that is, I've not actually done it yet, but um, all, all advice points to this being the, the better route. But we'll see more of Broadstand when we're around there. Yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. We just got down off the summit and the verglass has gone around here. The views are still absolutely amazing. I'm gonna head down here, we get the helmets on for the scramble just because of the well the rock being quite slippy. And uh and gullies. Uh, there's a lot of rocks loose. Plus I've used my helmet cam. Uh, yeah, down there to Westdale. Up at Estale, should I say? I think that's Simmons Knot over there. I'm not going to bag that on the way back up. So, uh, yeah, it's well cared by the looks of it. So, over there would be to get the broad stand and down this way. It's going to lead us down to Fox's Tarn. The sun's shining on there now. What a day! What an absolutely stunning day. <laughs> So we're just heading down this extremely steep scree. It's what I think is Fox's Tarn just there. It's tiny. I didn't think it'd be that small. It's coming back around again. Yeah, we've... Look at the conditions now, it's just a cloud everywhere, there's like... Yeah, it is really early. Got... Not really seen a bit of a fog bow yet or anything, which... So not, not really seen a fog bow yet or anything. That's incredible though. Could be in the Himalayas. <laughs> yeah. And I think that is uh, Fox's Tarn, it's a little bit... A little bit disappointing, isn't it? I thought it'd be bigger than that. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get the helmets on in the gully anyway. So down at Fox's Tarn, just about to descend the gully, which is more of a stream bed at the moment. I imagine the gully is just beyond that section. But yeah, it looks okay so far. That screen was really tough, so don't underestimate that. But it's uh, it's pretty pretty standard for this sort of area on the on the camp spout route there's another scree slope and uh, I've never done a little narrow cove but imagine that's not too dissimilar to any of these routes really a lot of scree in them so yeah down at Fox's Tarn 
Just uh, enjoying the view still. Clouds starting to lift now. And it's uh, supposed to clear up about midday. Something like that. It's getting really warm. But you can just, if we're struggling down, you can just see all this, uh, all this scree slope's pretty, pretty severe. Certainly as a, this is the reason we're wrecking these routes. Because obviously we're going to decide. I, I definitely think this is the way we'll be coming down. But uh, Lord Drake might be a better ascent. But we'll see. Right then, helmets are on and we're going to head down Foxy's Gully. Wow, you can just see the uh, River Esk as well through there. For us there, I think. I think it looks like we're getting to the like main gully part. Uh, I have seen on some maps though, I have seen like two paths. I think that's broad stand up there. Right. Or the top of it anyway. But yeah, I have seen like a path as well. As well as the actual gully. So, oh, that's amazing. I've said that a lot today, I think. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think we're approaching the gully now. It's getting a lot steeper. There's cairns as well. Usually means there's a bit of a cliff coming up. From what I've seen on it and what I've read, pictures and stuff, there's one bit of a step. But yeah, it's just more of what we've been doing. That's Fox's Gully. As the mist rolls in. <laughs> so yeah, I don't, uh, I mean, we're, I'll, I'll keep the helmets on. There's a lot of loose stuff in here. But I don't think I need the helmet cam. Which, let's be honest, is the main reason I've got this on. Right, it's making our way down the gully. There's Pippa knocking rocks onto me. <laughs> Not yet, thankfully. Uh, oh, they were too far from the bottom of it. There's my hand in shot, let's get rid of that. I don't think it's uh I don't think we're too far from the bottom by the looks of it, unless it turns a corner. It looks a bit of a Yeah, I think the path probably did go down the side, but the gully's fine. Yeah, I thought that, but I can't from where I am a little bit lower, so I'm not sure. But yeah, it's not too bad in the gully at all. Plus it's more dramatic. It's more dramatic. <laughs> Again, yeah, I think that just there is the screes coming up from the uh, camp spout, yeah. So we'll join that and then head back uphill. But this is quite nice. And quite a nice scramble down. I think the, the poles probably should have gone away. <laughs> the poles probably should have gone away. <laughs> yeah, just down there. A bit. Uh, it is just on the slopes of, of um, Scarfell Pike as well, so it could be the scree slope. But Scarfell's clear last now. Yeah, yeah. It's tough because it's always moving as well. Almost down the gully. It's definitely going to be easier going up this way. <laughs> All the holds are sort of in the in the bank, like brilliant places, aren't they? To sort of it's get up this way. Too bad in no, well, see, my main concern where you are now was scratching my camera. Because <laughs> obviously you got to face into the rock. So yeah, that was the only concern out there, really. <laughs> yeah, heading down. And it's a long pull up the screes, which I know you're looking forward to. So we're uh, cracking position <coughs> just above the camp spout waterfall down there and Estale. 
and that was uh, that was really enjoyable. Did look like you could get down the side of this here, but maybe there's a bit of a scree path going up to it there, but I'm not so sure about that. That was fine though. Absolutely fine. That is terrifying. Broadstand looming above you. That is unbelievable. If not for that, getting between the two peaks would be so easy. <laughs> So just uh, nearing the top of the Mickledore Screes on the uh, the eastern side. Uh, I've got broad stand behind me, and I don't suppose you'll see it with the cloud. Might just pick it out. Yeah, again, that was uh, another tough ascent. Slipping back with every every step you make. But the coal, it's just up this uh, last bit now. Then we've got to find a route that heads down to the base of uh, Lord's Rake. And then we'll head up that way. Pip's just coming up through the mist. Yeah, okay. I haven't seen nobody all day. We can now hear quite a few voices on, uh, on Scarfell Pike. All right, but... Uh, just approaching Mickledore, and I think we've just popped above the clouds. Oh, yes! There you go. There's the, uh, the brown tongue. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> very wow. <laughs> So. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> Total clag behind us, we've come over here. These are the Mickledore Screes, so I think our path is probably down there somewhere right. to reach uh, Lord's Rape. But we can go up and have a look at Fat Man's Agony anyway, just because to have a look at it. But yeah, that's the, that's the Mickledore Screes up from, so that's the, probably the, yeah, well, definitely the quieter route up to the, uh, the path down there. And then that's Mosedale, the big loop, the big bowl. More for the benefit of the camera than you, because I know you're an expert. Up here. <laughs> you didn't know, you haven't a clue, have you? Why are they? Come on, you, right, Pippa, Pippa lived up here when she was a child, and she's done all these mountains. I've not done all of them. Oh, all right then, I but you, them you've ran around them long enough. What's that lot? <laughs> Neither do I, I'm just guessing. Sea tollers well, over there, so they're not sea tollers, sea tollers. Anyway, well, we? I don't know, but I think we got the first us. one wrong, didn't we? <laughs> I don't know, we've like misjudged it and now we think we've got it right. <laughs> oh, I know where I am. Oh, we're going to have a look at this fat man's agony, we're not going to climb it. <laughs> so we're going to see if we can see Lord Drake. We're having Rake. a great day out. <laughs> yeah, that's the main thing. Right, so there's where we're heading. And there's Lord Drake. See it nice and clearly, look. Oh, up there. Yeah, it's just a big scree shoot these days, I think. <sighs> Steep. Oh. Yeah, so we've got to get down this, which is going to be a bit dicey, but it looks okay. Yeah. Then round. I nearly put my bum pants on. Oh dear. Yeah, and then we'll have a look at Westwall Traverses just between this and the next pillar. Right. But we might just carry on up the rake if it looks alright. Yeah. There should be better views from the rake, I would say. But Fat Man's Agony yeah. is down there. That's where you start the broadstand climb. So there's a little gap there in the rock and up there onto that rock and you can see how it slants downwards right, yeah. so you've got to climb up this right, yeah. and then once i think literally once you're up there it's all right yeah. and then you head that way but it's that yeah, yeah. that absolutely destroys you and we me and ian got on the first ledge and we were like absolutely not this is just so slippy no, we didn't even bother with that there's jagged rocks and everything it's straight down the scree slope's even quite steep Right, down this, and then to the rake, which is... I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> very, very slippy, very, very loose. Just working his way across. That bit looks a bit easier once we're over there. Still good views, and there's the rake. 
broad's done towering above us and Pippa slipping away down <laughs> right so that that was horrendous um really loose big runoff you start rolling down there you're going to struggle to stop yourself so you see the rocks down there now so this looks okay now and into the rake so we're going to enjoy the rake but i recommend if you do the rake do it from the bottom rather than coming up the screes and traversing across because this I haven't, I haven't liked this at all whether it be easier coming down this direct but again it's all very it's, it's all very messy yeah crumbly just not good so we're going to carry on to the rake so i might put the helmet cam uh, yeah. on there we'll see we'll see what it's like yeah okay right then this is lord's rake i'm going to film the entire ascent of it right here we go try and keep the camera in a decent position it's moving about it's on my helmet rather than my head so it should be more stable than normal Really imposing place. Wow. Well, I think after that first bit, Pippa, I think um, you can pretty much handrail this wall. And it ain't, it's nowhere near as steep as it looks. Sorry. Oh, have you? Thank you. So I'm guessing this is. Oh, just look at the situation of us. Look up there. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, it's nowhere near as steep as it looked. So no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. No rush. <laughs> You're doing well. Doing bloody well. Yeah, side and just yeah, handrail it up, I think. That seems to be... Uh, it seems it, yeah, I mean, worth checking it, but... I mean, that's... I don't look any better. Yeah. Coming up to the chalk stone. We're coming up to the chalk stone. Right, this thing is absolutely colossal when you get up close to it. Wow. Just imagine when that came down. I think it was across there, so it didn't fall far at all there. Oh yeah, definitely. Wow. I think just after the chalk stone is where you get on the west wall traverse, but we're probably just going to do the rake, I think. I'll have a look. A little bit for summit, but I'm a bit worried about knocking summit down onto you, really, more than anything. Otherwise, you could just like, yeah, I know, but it doesn't matter if it hits you in the face, does it? Or the, or the leg? No, it would have been all right if it's a little one. It's just yeah, I know, but the, a lot of these aren't little ones. No, no. So, so I'm taking a bit more care. I found a nice in fact while you're that side yeah. in fact I'll wait till you get here so you pass the chalk stone because this this doesn't look like it's going to stay here forever <laughs> what's that 
the chalk stain doesn't look like it's going to stay oh, here. For... Now's not the time. Oh no no no! It's, I don't think I don't think it's going to go today. But maybe when <laughs> now's it is. Now's not the time <laughs> to mention it. Maybe when we have like a thaw. <laughs> I don't. You know, it's just lying in the gully bed. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I was going to use it to help me up. So <laughs> there was a nice little alcove here. Well, just here where I thought I'd wait and then go up this bit. Okay. Feels pretty stable there. Oh, you're actually standing on the bloody thing up here. So that's the west wall up there. But I'm, I want to carry on with this. It's like more scrambling. Yeah, we, I was going to say, we may as well complete the rake. Uh, I suppose it's... I don't know. Still didn't look um, entirely stable down there. Even on that, I, like, I mean, I was, I was probably all in my head, but I swear I could hear it moving. <laughs> and I was like, come on, Boop, come on. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Stop laughing, you <I'm> serious. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a problem until you told me about that. <laughs> now this is definitely scrambling. Yeah, that was uh, that was really good. That bit. That's tough though. I mean, I don't know whether up there is okay as well. Might be more places to put your feet. Yeah. That was a really high step for me. Yeah. Well, this is like a little alcove. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, sort of shimmy your way up, can't you? There. Yeah, should be able to. I've got a rope so I can go away, don't you? Round here is pretty good if you can reach it. Yeah, I just can't. There's just nothing else for you left. I mean, you, can, you can give it get this way a go if you want. Yeah, it's a bit. Oh. Well, there's other options as well. Is there? I, th let's have a look. I think so, yeah. It didn't look very good, that's why I didn't do it. But maybe you could. Oh, no, forget that. <laughs> It'd be easier to do, but it's there's a big bloody. What are we at the top? There's another part of this rake, but it's nowhere near like this. So, yeah, you need to get over this, really. Yeah. I'm going to take my rucksack off. Okay, yeah, pass your rucksack off. It might give you a bit more. I can't get into the wall, you see. No, that's fine, yeah. Off. Yeah, take the thing off, pass it up here. Probably could do it yeah, I think. I just think yeah. that way. Hang on a minute. I'll tell you when. There's a handle. Yeah, I know, I'll tell you when. Okay. So, which way, which way do you think you're going to go for? Right, and then. Got it. Okay, right, you're in a good place yeah, there. If you can, if you can get over this one. Oh. Yeah. Then I can help if you need me. But there's oh, a good one there. That's it. That's it. Well done. Work that out one. Work that one out. I'll, uh... No, that's fair enough. All right. No, but it's, it's quite a big day as well, isn't it? Yeah. So obviously now it's. I don't know what's beyond that. Right, as far as I'm aware, that's the hardest part of the rake. Famous last words. I turn around and say, I can't do something. Um, yeah, we're gonna head up this way now. Still on the rake. Charles play this bit, isn't it? <laughs> ah. So we haven't finished. So we haven't finished scrambling. 
Yeah, so oh, we're just above where the Brown Tonga stream comes up. So that's the path up from Wasdale. Fantastic. And yeah, I think we've got another rake to go up maybe. Unless it wants you to go up there instead. We'll see. That is view is amazing, as it's been all day. Right, the final section of the rake, and then we've got a bit of a traverse up to the top of Scarfell again, and uh, Simmons Knot. We may as well go and bag that one, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what a view! Awesome! Oh. Right, wash water down there and down Wasdale and over here to, I think it's Ilgil Head I think that's the, that one there that was the, that's the other one we might do. Just gonna decide exactly what to do. But uh, yeah, I think, I'm gonna see if we can get straight down here to the top. We may as well go and bag Simmons Knot and then head down to Burmore Town. Then we'll decide what to do. Yep, it is. I don't think it's as steep as the first one. I don't think it's as steep as the first one. It is steep. I think maybe if you went up the right hand side there it would be. So, then we head up this ridge to Simmons Knot. We'll go and bag that, whatever that is. Yeah, it's uh, at the top of the West Wall Traverse path, sort of scree shoot. It looks okay, one to try for another day. I think we're just heading up there. I don't think we're too far from the summit again. That might be Simmons, uh, Simmons not up there. So uh, just approaching the col between Simmons Knot and Scarfell. Uh, where all the Vargla uh, the verglass was earlier. This time we're going to head up uh, Simmons Knot, bag that one off, then across Scarfell and down to Burmore Town, where I think I think that's where we're going to head back to Boot, just because it's a long, a long, long way uh, around the other ones. We've had a really good day, so. Not a, not a wane right, but a summit nonetheless. Right, so Scarfell's up there. We're not going up there now. We're going to head down to Burmore. I think we had some nice views up there earlier, yeah. didn't we? I'll put, I'll put them on the screen again. Why not? For no other reason than it's absolutely beautiful. And we'll head down to Burmore. Recommend staying at your boots or holiday. Mm. 
<laughs> right, so that straight ahead goes down to Wasdale, then we're going to go left down to Burmore Tard and back to Boot. Well, views down into Mosdale over there, look. There are pillars up there somewhere, I think you just about see it coming out of the clouds. What? Pillar. Pillar. And Great Gable. And the new barrows beyond that cloud. I don't know who's going to fall in. <laughs> going to get across here nice and easy. There we are. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Okay, so just back at Burnmore Tarn and then um, short walk down to Boot now. Across the mall in there, coming down the scree, it's quite a slog, but beautiful all the same, really, really good. So, yeah, been a cracking day from this morning. We've had inversion conditions, a couple of scrambles in there. Yeah, about a couple of miles back to boot, and I'll film some stuff on the way down. Uh, when's the next time I'm out? Next time I'm out is the 20... I've got 21st, I think. 21st of April, on Faux Frass. For a little jaunt up there, probably for a sunset. Right, thanks for watching as always. I'll put some photos on and do a bit of footage from the route back to boot. And uh, see you next time.